Cancer, come on in, put your feet up, make yourself at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Cancer, I have been meditating on this. And your reading today is about your past lover. Cancer's past lover. Just the words that come out as I'm thinking about it for a few minutes before. Past lover. Take a look, see, shall we? So, cancer, your past lover. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You can only book a private reading with me via my website. There's people all over the place trying to scam you. So you have to come to my website and book me. That's the only way you're going to get one from me. Legit Jed TV Tarot reading. Something's coming up with this past lover. Hold on, I'm, I'm feeling some negative energy. I'm going to be honest. I'm not liking it. Hold on, Cancer. I think, take it how it resonates, but I think that you were a little bit more focused on this than them. You were a little bit more focused on the relationship than they were. Tell me more. I sort of feel like you were the one who was uh, pursuing them. They weren't emotionally available. They weren't available, available. I sort of feel like they just ended a relationship. So yeah, emotionally available, but I feel like because they just ended one, they weren't ready to start another. And uh, this this made you a little, oh, I want it now, kind of energy. You were pursuing them. Cheers, by the way, this is my cup of tea. I drink uh, Revitalized by Pucker. I only drink herbal tea because I'm very allergic to caffeine. Best tea. I'm not advertising for them or anything. It's just blooming great, that tea. So what you need to know right now is the moon reversed. Releasing fear. This past lover, so yeah, they were a lover, but they weren't ready emotionally for you. But you pursued it, it didn't work out. You kind of stepped away from it, released the fear of being alone. And, uh... I don't know, it, it's still there though, that's the thing, it's still sort of there in the background. Maybe at some point they're going to come back to me, sort of sitting in the back of your head. 
but that's your ego. I don't think it's because you're still in love with this person. I think it's because you can't handle the rejection. seeing what's going on here I can see what's happened but I can't see what's happening now that's the problem there's this feeling that it won't go away in the back of your head I can't get them out of my head I can't but but I'm moving on I'm releasing it I'm letting it go but it's still sitting there rolling around in the back of your head. Oh, they've met someone else. They've met someone else. They weren't ready for you, but now they've gone and met somebody else. And you're like, uh, but you just told me that you weren't ready for me. All I can see right now is the prevalent, if that's the word, emotion that I'm seeing is your uh, feeling of rejection. Uh, and I, it's actually really hard to see past that. You've kind of tried to move on. Originally, this is kind of what happened. You're like, okay, well, you don't want me, fine. But literally, as soon as you move on, they meet somebody else. What? and they, the rejection comes back. Sucks, doesn't it? Anything else Cancer needs to know right now? Maybe they're a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Or a Libra Gemini Aquarius. Uh, it's like a little message from the universe. I'll get to that eventually, but this one's just a little one like, stress not, my love. Don't worry about it. Just wasn't meant to be. But what's coming up in the near future is that this is making you really unhappy. It's sort of setting off a chain of events for you. Like, what's, what's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you, my love. It's just... They weren't ready when you came along, and then someone else came along, and suddenly they were ready. This is, it's, it's a healing time that you have to go through. It's not fun, I know. Nobody wants to hear that they go through crappy events in their life so that their soul can learn how to deal with it and heal from it and move forwards. It's like, oh, that's freaking boring. Is that what I came to freaking earth for? I thought it was, you know, to do something fantastic, like raise the vibrations and, you know. Oh, I have to do the inner work. Oh, God. Can't we just raise the vibrations of the earth? That would be much easier in the work. Oh God. I hear you, mate. Thing is, you wanna help move things forwards, keep, you know, ascending. You gotta do the inner work because you can't help anyone else. You can't help the world. You can't help the earth. You can't do that unless you do the work because you doing the work raises the vibrations and that's exactly what you're doing so you have to go through the pain so that you can help other people i wouldn't be here now doing this and helping you if i hadn't been through freaking hellfire and i have and i'll tell you now if i'm helping people i would go through it again sorry my 
illumination went off. I, I can't use my lights because after I had my sty, they're just too damn bright. Darned bright. I didn't say, didn't say a naughty word. They're just too bright, so I can't use them, so I have to use my lovely illumination from my computer screen. So, just, the advice from the universe here is heal from this. Figure out your patterns and is rejection a pattern in your life? If it is, that's something you need to heal. Um, I... I like to do guided meditations to um, help me heal what comes up because there's meditating, that's good, but I sort of feel like uh, when you're actually needing to heal something, a guided meditation has a purpose. For me anyway, I don't know if that works for you, but yeah. There's a channel called Jen Peters and she does really great guided meditations to help you heal your wounded child and deal with um, your rejection patterns in your life. Jen Peters. She's, she's good. Just uh, this is something that you need to do now so this doesn't happen again and so you can let this go and so that you can move forwards and help other people even just like your mates giving them advice because you've been through crap you know it's just you're here to help raise the vibes it's, that's why you've tuned into this video you're drawn to this for a reason so best you can hope for Oh, boy, gee, what's that? Healing? Regenerating? Getting better? <sighs> Healing those hurts of... God, where do I start with that? This is like, jeez. Torture. Rejection. Oh, God, this is terrible. There's so many things that you need to heal from. Each one of those ten swords in your back is, you know, somebody betrayed you, somebody hurt you, somebody, somebody did you wrong, somebody lied to you, somebody stole from you, you know. It, it, this is, you know, the best you can hope for is that you're going to heal from that. I'll tell you now that you know spiritual awakening <laughs> it's it's not beautiful and yet it is it's it's messy it's painful you're gonna curl up in a ball fetal position and and cry and literally not know how you're gonna get through the next minute sometimes like I don't know how I'm going to get <laughs> 30 seconds, 60 seconds, like an hour. How am I going to make it through? I can't deal with now. You are. You are going to get through it. I've I've been in hellfire. If you're in that right now, it's going to be all right, mate. Trust me. And I'll tell you now, I, I'm, I'm sure... Then I'm going to have a good old cry. Soon. <laughs> Probably the next few days. And it's going to hurt. And it's going to be terrible. But I'm going to get through it. And you're going to get through it. We're all going to get through this. And we're going to feel better. It's cathartic. Let it out, my love. You know what's always helped me? Music. Take your time. The Knight of Pentacles here. Take your time, move slowly through it each minute until you're out there and you're past it. You in the environment of the future. This is something we're going to deal with right now, okay? You and I, we're going to deal with this right now. This person from the past, you're not going to be looking at them and what they're doing anymore, okay? Because this is what we're going to deal with. We're going to help you move forwards now, okay? this good? 
So you, you're not going to be looking at their social medias anymore, are you? You're going to block them, right? Yes? You're not going to be holding on to this person anymore because this is the outcome. And frankly, as a reader, if any reader tells you that this is set in stone and it's solid, hell no. You are in charge of your own destiny. And we can go by what the cards say and say you're going to keep watching everything that they do and be miserable and happy. You're going to hold on to them and never let them go and be miserable for the rest of your life. Or are you going to deal with this now? You're going to block them. All right. I'm going to wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. So we're going to block them, right? Get to the bit. Okay. Hover over the block button for a second. I'm here. I'm here with you right now. We're going to hover over the block button. We're going to do this together. All of us. Not just me and you, but everyone is watching. Are you ready? Block their ass. Do it. Thank you. Feel good? Block anyone else who's uh, also, you know, kind of involved. Because that would be good. Don't look at them anymore. Don't unblock them. This is good for you. All right? I am going to read the extended. I suggest you don't watch it because you've just blocked them and we don't need to know anymore, right? So I'm going to make the extended, but you're not going to watch it, right? Because you don't need to. I'm, I really don't. I'm going to make it, but if you want to watch it, take a look in the, the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. And I'm going to ask how they feel about you. Where are you in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you in the future? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? But you're not going to watch it. I'm going to do it anyway because I have to. As a light worker, I have to put that energy out there. And if you need it, it's there. But <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I'm wasting my time. Hold on. What kind of freaking reader am I where I'm saying don't watch my video on the extended? <laughs> no, I don't want you to. End of a tough cycle approaches because you're going to listen to my advice, right? And we already blocked them. That's good. We, we did it. We did it together. But you're not going to go back and you're, you're not going to watch the extended, are you? I'm hoping I'm going to have zero views on my extended. Because you don't care about how they feel about you now, do you? Because you blocked them and we're good and we're moving forwards, right? Everything works if you let it. A cheap trick. One of my favourite bands. Thank you for joining me, my loves. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notifica notification bell. See you later. I'm blah, blah, blah.